my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Rachel. If you haven't been here before, glad to have you guys. Special thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. All right, let's do this, Gemini. Um, if you haven't watched one of my readings before, as with all of them, I do answer a yes or no question at the very end. So throughout the reading, just think about what your question is so that when we get to the, to the end, I can answer that for you. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right, all right, here we go. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Look at that first card out is the star. As it pertains to your love life, April, what are we at? 19th through the 25th. I will show these to you once I get them all out, okay? I know you can't see them right now, but you will. No worries. Okay. <laughs> I think, Gemini, I think you are like manifesting yourself right out of a crap situation eventually. Anyway, okay, let's do this. So if you haven't watched my weekly love readings before, the shorter love readings, the longer ones are the monthlies that's already posted. And if you're single, there is a an entire month of April reading posted as well as a mid-month April singles readings. Those are very short, but they're just for singles, all right? Anyway, if you haven't watched this one before, for me in this particular spread, the overall energy is actually the overall energy of the person that I'm reading for. So it would be you, your overall energy as it pertains to your love life this week. Everything else can be for you or the person that you're dealing with or outside influences. We will get to that as we go, okay? All right, so you guys are in this star energy here, Gemini. So you're healing. You are starting to see some wishes coming true or you're heavily manifesting for something to happen here in your life. The universe is blessing you hardcore healing you, rejuvenating you, all that good stuff, all right? Um, and I see, just with what's out here so far, and I, we'll get to that in a minute, but I can see it's, it's like uh, challenging. <laughs> but I think you yourself, you yourself are fine. You yourself know where you want to be and what you have to do to get there, all right? Yep, and you're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles as well, so... You're stable, you're secure, you're solid, dependable, reliable, ready to commit, or you're already in a commitment. Um, but eh, anyway, we'll get to that. All right, recent past, the high priestess reverse. This is someone ignoring their intuition here, keeping some secrets or ignoring their intuition. I think that it was you, but I don't think that you're being that person anymore. Except now with the Six of Swords reversed in the present energy, there's a resistance here to leaving a difficult situation. So it's Aquarius energy, by the way. So you've now got Aquarius here twice. Um, it's a situation where there's like a lot of drama, a lot of arguing, a lot of lessons, a lot of challenges. And it's time to kind of put that shit in the boat and sail away. You know what I mean? Um... It's moving on to something easy, but it's reversed. So there's a resistance here. Either you are having a difficulty leaving a situation that you know that you should leave, or somebody else is like trying to keep you there or trying to come back. Okay. Let's get another one on that. What is the Six of Swords reverse for Gemini? The Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah. So somebody, there's something here that's trying to end. Um, there's a lot of hurt, a lot of, you know, betrayal, whatever. It's just a really hurtful situation. And somebody's trying to healing from it or somebody's trying to healing from it. Good Lord. Somebody's trying to heal from it. If I could talk, that would be cool. And somebody else is trying to keep the other person there. And since you're all in this star energy, I'm going to go with, you're the one that's healing from it. And you're the stable one here. And this other person is like, um, no, you can't leave. You can't leave. You have to stay here. Or they're really trying to come back because they just can't get over you. They can't. They're still in that Ten of Swords. They can't. They can't get away from it. That's not your problem, though, Gemini. All right, let's get another one here, Gemini. The Two of Wands reversed. Somebody feel like they made the wrong decision. Aries energy. Get another one on that.
the king of cups water energy cancer scorpio pisces you could be dealing with a water sign but regardless whether you are or aren't this is somebody who's emotionally mature emotionally available loyal you know what i mean um very loving compassionate i don't think this is the person that you're dealing with i think this is you um not that that person that you're dealing with is a piece of shit. i don't i'm not saying that what i'm saying is they're they're not in a healthy place, so they wouldn't be King of Cups. That would be you. I think that you are really like a loving, compassionate person, and you're trying to be that way here, but in doing so, it's you're kind of like holding yourself back from your blessings. Like, it's like, um, okay, should I leave? Am I making the wrong decision here? Two of Wands reversed. Um, they're still like wanting me to stay, and I still love them, so... Am I making the right decision? Did I make the wrong decision leaving or telling them I'm going to leave or something like that? You know what I mean? All right. And then in the reverse, we've got the King of Cups reverse. So back to back King of Cups here, one upright in the present, and then it gets reversed here in the future. And I think that the only way that that's going to happen is if you continue to stay in this situation. Uh, you might be good now, but if it's that difficult and you know you should leave, then it's going to jack up your emotional well-being in the near future. All right. Yeah, we got the Seven of Swords reversed here. So that's somebody confessing something or getting caught. There could be a water sign that's involved that somebody's either lying about or it is a water sign that's lying. Um, either way, there's something coming out in the future somebody's either going to confess something or get caught let's see what it is clarify the seven of swords reversed the four of swords libra energy um and it's going to really cause somebody to have to take a time out it's going to really kind of put somebody out for a little while they're going to have to take a time out to heal here self-care and it could also be somebody lying about some kind of recovery um, if somebody's like an addict or something, they could be lying about being in recovery. Um, they could be lying about an illness that they might have. But there's there's deception here, either surrounding somebody's recovery or it will cause somebody to need some kind of a healing period. That's too many, but this is what's on the top of the pile, the Three of Swords, right? All right, let's get another one on that Four of Swords. The King of Pentacles. You've now got the King and Queen of Pentacles here, right? That is a divine counterpart. Doesn't mean you have to be with them for forever, but could be, whatever. But that's what comes after the healing period. After all this is done, you heal from it, or they do, whatever, whoever needs to heal here. <laughs> um, you end up with this, this divine counterpart here. Okay, your match, the one that mirrors you. This is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't mean that it has to be an Earth sign, but you're in Earth energy right now, and you're not an Earth sign. That's just the energy that you're taking on. So they're going to be in that same energy. They're going to be stable like you, solid, reliable. Um, they're going to want to commit just like you. Okay, all you have to do is get past this and heal from it, and there you go. They show up for you. All right. In your obstacle, you have the Five of Swords reversed, more Aquarius. Aquarius all over your reading. Um, anyway, that's disengaging from the drama, right? You've got the Six of Swords reversed in the present. You've got the Five of Swords reversed as an obstacle. So the obstacle is the inability to disengage from that, the arguing, the back and forth. It's like staying in it. Um, you know, I mean, sometimes we keep it going because we have to be right. Sometimes we keep it going because we have to know what's really going on. Um, when really, like, if we think that there's something going on and there's a significant reason to think so, then we don't have to know, no. We can just go. You know what I mean? Because that's this drama that it's, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary drama. It's trash talking. All right? Okay. In your advice you have the queen of coins reverse you have that upright in your energy so as an advice don't let yourself get thrown off here don't let yourself become unstable watch your money don't let your money go crazy here 
watch, you know, your spending, your stability, all of your tangible stuff here. Um, don't let that get all out of whack because of this situation, because that can happen. It can throw you off. Okay. And your queen of pentacles up right now. You don't want to let yourself get reversed here. All right. Let's get your energy with the different signs. Gemini. I swear, some you kept coming up in somebody else's reading, and I don't know who it was, but I kept calling you Gemini, and I don't know why it was coming out that way. What if I just did that? What if I just called you guys freaking Gemini? That was ridiculous. Anyway, Gemini is dealing with other air signs. How are you? Five of Wands reverse. You're disengaging from the drama if you're dealing with another air sign. You could just be resolving an issue. Um, the arguing's over, whether you're still with them or not. If you are, it's it's not going to be a bunch of drama anymore. If you're not, could be that they were drama and you had to cut them off. Gemini's dealing with water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How are you? All right. The Six of Wands. That looks good. That's victory. That's being recognized, appreciated, being seen, confidence. That looks good. Gemini's dealing with Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That's too many. Too many. I'm having an issue. Hold on. Sorry. Gemini dealing with Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What's up? What's up? Queen of Wands reversed. So a lack of passion, lack of attraction, or somebody here is really controlling and demanding. Egotistical, arrogant lazy <laughs> gemini's dealing with fire aries leo sagittarius how are my gemini's dealing with fire signs Ooh, the world nice well that looks good and i don't think that it's good as in you're ending something with a fire sign i think this is you're leveling up the connection is moving into some other cycle because where it's at now you've accomplished everything so it would be like um, if you're just dating, it would be moving on to commitment. If you're committed, it could be moving on to living together. You know what I mean? It's a leveling up. All right, Gemini, you ready for your yes and no question? Let's do this. Take a deep breath, Gemini, and focus on your question. Okay, here we go. Gemini. Yes or no for my Gemini friends. <laughs> it's the Seven of Cups. It's a yes. It's a yes, but a very confused yes. All right. I hope you guys wanted it to be. Take care. I love you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow or the next day with your next readings.